Students that support Palestine say they want to see an end to all the violence in Israel. They also stress the importance of raising global awareness about the underlying reasons behind the conflict, aiming to create a more informed understanding of the situation. As death and destruction continues in the Middle East, Northside High School students joined forces with local Palestinians to show support in ending the war. One person might say, how, may I, how can I help Palestine just by one person? There's, there's billions of people on this planet and there's at least 80,000 people in Fort Smith. And we have at least 200 people here, 200 people all with the same idea and we'd like to, and we'd like to make sure that everyone knows what we stand for. Because even, even if we're not spreading the message, we're standing for the message. Their sense of pride amplifying their message, they waved Palestine's national colors, the red, black, and green flag. Some students debate that relying solely on verbal exchanges in protest is not enough to address the situation. We have to call our representatives, we have to call just Congress and let them know that we do not stand with Israel. The people of America do not stand with Israel. No matter how much our government does, we do not, and they do not get to speak for us. Justice Clark, a junior at Northside, stresses that as the youth and future leaders of the world, it is imperative for them to voice their opinions and advocate for what is morally right. This issue isn't gonna stop. Like the el our elders, they're not going. They they benefit from from this, so they're not going to stop. We have, as the young people and as the future of the whole world, we have to speak up and stand for what's right, or else change will never come. Yusuf Daoud, a Northside alumni and Palestinian, has first-hand experience with the violence and oppression against Palestinians, having been a victim himself. I've been. It's it's tough to talk about because. I used to live in Palestine, and when I lived there, they tear gassed me twice. Twice they tear gassed me. It was horrific. Once going to school and once in school. Not only are students advocating for Palestinians, but so are teachers. Mohammed Issa Momin teaches chemistry at Northside, originally from Afghanistan, and expresses his outrage for the oppression of Palestinians. I have experienced the occupation of Russian army in my country. I was in jail because I was standing against them for one year while I was a student in the university. And since 1980, I have left Afghanistan. And I have lived in different parts of the world. But I have never been as much enraged with injustice as it is right now against the innocent Palestinian people that a genocide is being perpetrated by the Zionists of Israel and supported by the West and the United States. I cannot believe that I am a citizen of a country that supports Zionism, genocide, and apartheid in the 21st century. Ultimately, protesters and students express a shared desire for an end to the war and a worldwide recognition of the fundamental injustice in the ongoing conflict. People talk about being on the right side of history and being, being uh, politically correct and all this and all that, but when it's something that, they, that they just, they don't, they're scared to agree with, then they just don't do it. So Ukraine, everyone protested for Ukraine. Black Lives Matter, everyone protested for Black Lives Matter, but when it gets, when it gets to the Palestine-Israel conflict, no, no one wants to do it. But here, we prove them wrong. People here show that they really want to be correct and they really want to be on the right side of history. And what is that? Freedom! Organizers say this was the first planned event of this kind in the River Valley. The rally lasted for four hours and one protester showed up in support for Israel. Fort Smith police say there were no reports of violence. Reporting for Grizzly News Network, I'm Shyla Gonzalez.